it's it's a humanitarian disaster. Iran is really in need of help. People of Iran uh, really need need help, and unfortunately, the global attention to the matter has been limited, and and the, those on the ground have not really been prepared for this situation. So they have not been capable of addressing the proper the problem properly. Uh, Iran has not experienced something of this magnitude for a long, long time. At least it's unprecedented in my lifetime, and 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 for that reason, um, it it's really helped to. Uh, it's it's really hard to help the people. Um, infrastructure has washed away. A lot of um, uh, villages have have got disconnected from the network. So it's really help. It's really hard to help them. A lack of inf infrastructure to help and 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 manage crisis is also adding to the problem. So it, it is a serious problem, and Iran is really in need of um, in uh, you know needs international help. Uh, the U.S. State Department said that Washington was ready to help via the Red Cross and Red Crescent, but at the same time accused Iran of being unprepared for the emergency. First of all, was Iran unprepared? I think, you know, these are political games, and I, I don't think it's it's really helpful that at this time we, we, uh, we bring, you know, people are dying, people are underwater, and these games between Tehran and Washington are unhealthy, and I, I don't think this is really even mature that that you know high level politicians are fighting like like children uh, over this like uh, you know iran accusing uh, the us that they were not pretty good in in managing their floods and cyclones and and hurricanes and and washington accusing tehran that they're not good and un unprepared in any natural disaster and any disaster we always say that we could have done better we could have avoided the damages and we could have you know prevented a lot of things that we haven't done but right now, it doesn't matter. What matters is like people's health and people's lives. And this is something that we need to concentrate. Tehran and Washington have plenty of time to, to fight with, with each other as the, the last 40 years. Indeed, there is this political one-upmanship, if you like. Iran's foreign ministry also saying that U.S. sanctions on Iran are what's blocking humanitarian aid. Uh, what are you hearing from those people who are on the ground? What kind of aid is getting to people? I mean, so so there are some some aids like you know food, blankets, uh, tents, and water, and all these things that you can all always you know in these times become become handy plus money and all sorts of things. But but it's also the issue of equipment, right? So so right now Iran cannot like immediately buy the helicopters it needs or like I don't know any any sort of equipment that they need to um, use at this point, including pumps and and whatever they need to to. Uh, you know, help the people build the infrastructure back, uh, connect the, the the pipes and electricity and so on. So, so it might be able to, you know, we might be able to help people with with uh, any sort of like goods, uh, which which kind of uh, res help them uh, live like human beings. But we can't really give them the life that they deserve, and that takes a long, long time. Iran definitely has been affected by by sanctions, whether they want to deny it or not, and and they, you know. The Iranian people and the poor are the ones who are suffering the most, uh, and 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 I think it is it is very sad to see that politics is getting mixed up with a humanitarian crisis like this. Kavi Madani, thanks so much for taking the time to speak to us. You are the former deputy head of Iran's Department of Environment and ex-VP of the UN Environmental Assembly Bureau. Thank you so much.